Alright, um, this video is for Eliska Wonorova, and if I pronounced that wrong, I'm sorry. Um, and you just kind of wanted to critique. Um, so the first thing that I would say right off the bat is, um, you know, proportions look okay. Uh, that that kind of uh, look and feeling has is okay. Um, there's a couple anatomy issues I would say right off the bat is like this here. Um, the way you're bending your knee from the side. Uh, so what I would do is, oops, wrong tool. Uh, I would, your knee comes in here, and so if you're bending it from the side, you have to realize that there's a bone that comes here, um, and then, so that bone is basically there's there's two bones, and that's going to reach the ankles. Some, something like that. But the big thing is that the calf muscle with it out being supported, it'll actually drop lower and then this will actually come around. It's just basically the way the, the anatomy is. And then if you're bending this, this bone here, you're going to get more overlap on the muscle. Um, so that's, I would look at more reference for this. And then the, the back of the, the foot kind of feels awkward. Um, like the heel is almost a little bit too big. And I would probably push that kind of alongside like this. Um, so fix this foot here. That's a big thing. Um, I'm looking at the, the uh, outfit itself. Um, and the wrinkles make sense. They're, they're logically placed. Uh, however, you know, I'm looking at this and what I would do is, especially since you're compressing these, um, have more overlapping wrinkles instead of uh, compression wrinkles. So you would want more overlapping, especially in the joints here. And then this is, if you're going to kind of uh, put this so that it's, it's elongated, straighten it out and a little bit more flow with it. Um, I would almost make that a little bit longer uh, so that you can get more angles and more interesting kind of dynamics from that. Um, and like I said, more uh, comp uh, not compression, but more overlapping wrinkles where the cloth is folding in on itself. Um, I would also say watch your eyes. Uh, with your eyes and I know the anime style is a little bit different proportioned, but the one thing that looks odd is that you have this eye here, and that they're actually kind of almost perfectly lined up, but this eye is just slightly wider, and and that kind of makes it feel very, like, if I, if I zoom in on this a little bit closer here and be a little bit more precise, you can see that this eye here and this eye here um, the outskirts are just the wider, and it, it's not much, but it makes it look a little bit awkward. Um, the tails and stuff like that are fine. I know you're probably going to add form down the road with it. Uh, watch out with the hands. The, the palm hand area here looks a little bit elongated. Um, I'm, I would possibly shorten that and condense it down. Um, same thing here, just just a little bit shorter or a little bit wider here, um, in your in your area. Um, otherwise, I mean, I, I think you've got like decent proportions. Uh, you might want to add, like, if you've got breasts this large on the character, you might want to uh, come over here and put a uh, fabric folds here. So because your breast over here is going to be somewhat like this, um, according to your your mesh or your your form here. And what I would say is if, if that's the case, then you want to put some fabric folds where it's tightening here, and you might want to put some fabric folds where it's tightening across there. That's, you know, preference. Um, so I would say that. And then the other thing is right now you kind of have... Uh, repeated bow pattern. Um, this needs to be finished over here. I don't know, just like you've got this bow and it's not finished, so I don't know if that's supposed to be a double bow or a single bow. Um, 
And that actually would work well because you're repeating your form here as well. Um, and then what I would tell you to do is actually, instead of put the flower here, um, maybe repeat this pattern here. You could put it here and here, or you could put it up here. Um, something to, or even actually repeat that pattern, this form here. And I think that that helps out, especially if you have three of them. Um, and I think that'll unify it a little bit more. The bows work well. Um, maybe put a bow around her wrist, and that would actually pop out a little bit more too. Um, so those are all things that you can kind of do to unify it. Um, and like I said, I know it's a Japanese, uh, you know, an anime style character. So proportion and form look pretty good. Um, your hips are pretty pretty hidden. Uh, you might want to check here. This looks. I would almost bring this out a little bit more, but that's from a physical form. And again, watch, you know, if you're doing this in the center, this knee here is the center is over here. So that, that would actually be over this, this way. So kind of watch your directions and things. And um, otherwise, you know, that's, that's pretty much what I have to say. All right.